Hey tribe, this is Mahesh Chikne, founder and CEO of the Test Tribe. I have 13 years of experience in software testing industry. Initial decade has been at my previous job where I was, I where I laid 12 to 13 products across this decade on testing front. Uh, built several automation teams across no code and open source tech stack and was also co-leading the center of excellence efforts towards the end of my tenure there. Post it, it has been close to three years now building the test drive full time. And uh, today the topic that we're going to speak about is uh, future of testing or future of manual testing jobs as they call it. Now, when we talk about the future of testing, we also have to look at the past, like how the industry has created this narrative across all these decades, right? So this is, this is not a new thing to hear that, right? Like the testing is dying, testing jobs are dying, there won't be a future for testing as such, right? It has been repeated several times for several reasons altogether, sometimes for a tool, sometimes for automation, then, you know, during the rise of AI ML, and nowadays at the chat GPT or generative AI is rising up, it is again coming back. While that story has been always there, let's, let's look at the reality as well. Things have been changing, but you know, just to be clear on something to start with, testing as a craft is not going anywhere. And the smart testers who are multifaceted and who can, you know, wear multiple hats and contribute to several things, of course, who can learn technology closely by technology i mean obviously understanding the whole application but along with that also being very comfortable with programming and you know automation as a whole so when i say testing as a craft is here to stay does it mean that all is good and we don't need to worry as as testers uh, no things are surely changing the state of testing report published in 2023 by practiced uh, practice test and tea time with testers it has been i think for multiple editions telling that the size of testing teams is shrinking that is the same thing if you see around you will also notice and you know agree with the same fact what it means is automation you know as the teams and the industry has been trying to make it mainstream for years now it is finally making an impact and most companies or a lot of companies you know have some or all part of their regression already automated so that is where the team size is shrinking that is a also we did one uh, sample exercise and it was done by someone in our team who is not a tester or who is not a domain expert so was done in most unbiased way what we did is we found 100 very random jobs on the internet across locations across companies and so on and we tried to find the pattern in it 86 out of these 100 jobs demanded automation as a mandatory skill set in that and I'm not surprised at all because in my opinion or my personal observations, I haven't come across a job post of late or no one, you know, in a, in a long time have approached me to say that they have a vacancy for testing, which doesn't demand a programming or automation knowledge. So that is where we are heading. So the way industry survived for decades, right, wherein uh, we sort of stayed away from programming or automation as a skill set, that is changing. So the casual surfers, Sorry to say, but it will be very hard to stay relevant in coming time. So we talked about automation, right? So why automation is becoming so important? It is important for organizations. It is also important for us as testers. I'll explain why. So for organizations, what it is doing, it is making the feedback loop very, very fast. So something that, you know, e even in my own experience, I have seen that somewhere we needed to complete regression and, you know, the time taken would be around three weeks to four weeks. We also saw the phases where the regression feedback loop was brought down to three, four hours as well. And the sanity and smoke uh, test runs, they were obviously further down like to 15 to 30 minutes. So that is a kind of impact that has happened. What is happening for organization with this is, A, obviously they're getting to know, at least in terms of regression, how the product is doing and they can take the call of, you know, shipping to the production much faster it is also helping them save time and the money by a lot of margin so that is where uh, a lot of things are changing as well software quality report 2023 by catalon signity and deloitte so in that report around 79 percent of the respondents said that they saw the cost saving when they implemented automation in their projects 
and that is that is the core reason why you know industry for so many years was behind it because the decision makers wanted to save cost a and they needed faster feedback loop to ship releases faster we talked about importance of automation for organizations now also let's let's also talk about why it is important for testers as well sorry to say but for a long time uh, the way testing jobs happened or the way testers functioned has been that okay we are able to think some cases we'll we'll write down those test cases and we'll execute those testing jobs or testers were looked like non tech people right and uh, and that is also one of the reason why that respect for uh, you know craft as well lacked we were all we were probably always seen as someone who, who won't understand the technical stuff who cannot understand or write programming and that has created you know a perception about our craft so what automation is changing in that case is that perception is changing now because you know as more and more people are getting into automation they are becoming more comfortable or practicing programming and automation more that one fact is changing that and it, it is seen as a lot of respect there is already transitions happening like i know uh, unicorns or startups in india and you know probably outside uh, across the world as well the way testing function is transitioning is like first we are getting into automation then in advanced companies or the startups or you know the tech heavy companies that are eventually then from automation going to become estate and because estate as a role in a lot of companies involves so much of coding so in a lot of companies what's happening is the difference of the coding done by the estates and the coding done by developers that is the the difference is narrowing the line is becoming more blurry and that is where you know the companies are merging these functions as well like if you are estate and you know you can write code so well why not just develop as well and vice versa so they're also asking the developers to you know write more test as well so it is two way thing that is happening so what what this transition is changing and in general like just by you know knowing programming and automation what is changing is the a the respect is changing but b the pay scale is also very different compared to you know what it was a few years back for testing positions which did not demand automation or programming so that way yes uh, it is it is helping us as testers as well we should also notice a disclaimer here or or a risk here a lot of people are directly jumping into automation because there is a job market obviously because there is a there is a pay scale and every job is demanding that what we are missing here is they have skipped a certain stages like they haven't you know made their foundations as testers strong and they have directly got into programming and learned a particular automation tool and from there they are moving ahead that also is a very risky path because moving ahead as you know we will we'll talk about ai but as ai catches up and you know things start becoming more easy eventually it won't be just your pure coding or programming skills that will make you a best tester or best automation engineer but it is you know very importantly how how well you can think about the software quality about the risk involved how well you can communicate how well you can tell the stories and so the thinking part has to be there that has to be practiced and that is something which you know we see that a lot of people are missing and directly jumping to the next steps of uh, you know becoming an automation engineer so we talked about automation but what about ai right that has been the buzzword in the industry and that is that is going to stay for a while now or probably forever you never know uh, so ai ml will replace testing or something else will replace testing those narratives has been there but the ai ml as we heard as we saw for last let's say 7 8 years and what we saw just in last 12 months is very different so i'm not saying things are coming to replace one particular craft but ai as it is making you know its way into mainstream things it is going to impact all roles and each and every function so when i say like for example there are there are so many product companies that i know and ai has already made its way into the engineering departments of these companies what i mean by that is ai is used heavily or you know to a significant uh, level to write the code whether that code is for your product development whether that code is for, you know for your internal processes or whether it is for testing and automation it doesn't matter but they are already using the ai so when i say ai will you know make the job of uh, writing the automation code easy it will further add to the initial trend that i talked about that the testing team sizes are shrinking 
it will continue to shrink in my personal opinion but it won't be only testing team sizes that will shrink it will also impact the day and other functions because the, the quality of code that is coming out it is in the last 12 months the way things traverse it is already the very good and as there is more focus from you know giants in the industry and every other company the quality of code written by ai is only going to get better so it is going to impact all functions so let's not be a victim here and think that okay it's only going to impact testing but it is rather a good thing that okay ai is making things easier for us and uh, yeah the smarter players who can wear multiple hats in any function they will still find their own relevance so what do we do in such cases do we get scared that okay now the automation is mainstream and now the the ai has arrived and you know it is impacting its own thing uh we shouldn't be scared but we should be observant and see what are the core responsibilities or which part of our job is being you know done well by automation and ai or is replaced by automation and ai so what we need to see if there are still people who do not know programming or automation there is no good news here because as i said as i gave the stats as well in a long time i haven't seen a job that doesn't demand programming or automation so if you are still think if you are a manual tester and still thinking that you know there would be some way that you know you can just surf through this uh, i won't be very hopeful if i was you because the point is the job market is a decision maker and the decision has been made that each almost every single position is going with that ask of you know knowing programming or automation so you must learn a programming language well you must learn how to do good automation along with honing your testing skills that is that is the only way to stay relevant if you are going to go for the majority of the job opportunities which are there what i mean by that is there are also niches within software testing as as a function right so what's happening is let's say someone doesn't like coding at all and they don't want to go the automation route there are other routes but obviously there is less competition there but with less competition there is also lesser demand there so these are let's see your security testing positions your performance testing or performance engineering opportunities your usability testing opportunities your accessibility testing opportunities but in comparison these positions are very less you get benefited because there is a lesser competition but yes there will be lesser demand as well so that is what you should be prepared of i was speaking to someone who has led like you know team of like hundreds of testers at at a big mnc and he gave a very interesting perspective to me while these are some areas where you know people who do not like programming and automation can go there are also areas where you know people can step in like salesforce testing service now testing which is becoming its own ecosystem now and has a lot of opportunities to explore so i haven't seen that first hand but i post that statement made by one of my friend when i looked into those details yes the market also reflects that so that is also one of the possibility that you can explore but yes let's go back and let's talk about you know majority of the people who want to stay within the core testing role as it advances there there is no option than you know learning programming and learning a good automation tool will that make you relevant and uh, will that keep you at top of your game for a long time i don't think so that's not the only thing that we need to upskill along with that we also need to get a lot more comfortable with the technical stuff how the applications are working uh, we should be able to explain the entire web application architecture if you are working on the web app we should be knowing how to debug the problems if they exist in general we should be able to wear you know multiple hats and not only stay limited to one type of automation and let's say writing some cases so we should know apis that well as well one more point that state of testing survey of 2023 talks about is api probably is third or fourth most important skill voted by the respondents which contributed to their success so api also is becoming so mainstream so we should know all these technical things as well along with automation and our pure testing skills so i also know there will be a lot of testers who are a bit behind on this upskilling journey they might not have given a serious attempt serious upskilling attempt to learn a programming language and automation and uh, they would be worried that okay what do we do in this case is there a extra lifeline that we get in such a market uh, i have a certain observation you can validate it yourself but i have a certain observation that that lifeline by a few months or maybe a year 
uh, while that's not something that I recommend because it, it's like staying away from the real problem. Uh, but yeah, that lifeline can be finding testing job at very, very small companies. I don't mean startups because startups are uh, also technologically advanced in today's time. I mean traditional smaller companies or finding testing jobs at you know tier two, tier three cities. Because in my experience across two, three, di two, three different instances I have seen the trends that become mainstream in metros they take like you know 12 to 18 months to transition to the tier 2 and tier 3 cities so that can be one lifeline in case you are out of job currently or finding it very difficult to get a job without automation skill set so that would be one way to look at these things as well and yes one more important thing that i missed though i touched the ai part but i largely talked about the impact of ai and you know how it is becoming more stream we did not talk about how important it is for testers now to learn AI as well and see what specific use cases they can use it for. Uh, two, three years back, it was very difficult because the kind of AI ML use cases that we're talking about, the, the solution wasn't mainstream. With ChatGPT, they have simply transitioned the whole landscape, right? They made, you know, LLMs and generative AI available to each of us and they have also added so many extra layers like custom gpts you can have your own gpt trained on your own context and obviously that they laid the part but there are other llm models which you can self-host and you know do a lot of things but obviously self-hosting might be a lot to start with for a lot of companies and and testers but generative ai like chat gpt you can directly go explore there are chat gpt alternatives as well there is bard you know there are so many options available which you can just sign up and start playing around get some courses see see it on youtube or you know just learn through the blogs but start attempting that uh, that is something which is pure natural language communication you do not have to learn programming right so let, let's not get behind on this thing as well so learning generative AI and being with that wave is also something which is very important. It is, it is very early phase now. It is not uh, that deep into, you know, thinking like testers. But yeah, is it thinking better than the average testers? It is already doing so. So, you know, very soon the things will keep changing and we have to stay up to speed on that. Yeah, so just to summarize what we talked so far. We talked about how things are changing, how every other job that we see on the internet today, it demands automation. So pure manual testing jobs, as you as you would have called or seen it, uh, they are really struggling to exist. And you know, I haven't seen one in a while now. We also talked about the sample study that we did. Then we talked about, you know, how now in future we can stay relevant. A, learning AI very well, that's important programming and automation it's no more optional it is it is a must to have in your portfolio so you have to start learning it and then going beyond the obvious duties that we might have done how to build, deploy a build how to you know debug a particular pro production uh, knowing the entire request response cycle knowing the entire application architecture talking to the developers and other functions in their own language and being able to do so all these things will matter being a very effective communicator communication by the way is the top skill voted by the respondents in one of the survey you know which contributes the most to the success of testers so that is also becoming you know very important factor to focus on so these are some areas which we have to uh, you know keep upskilling on upskilling for testers was optional probably 15 20 years back sorry but for decades I've seen in my own studies that you know just because we can think and just because we can write test cases we have survived and the job stayed and the job stayed and you know market paid us that has ended now and you know upskilling for these items and beyond these items the new trends that will come the new demands that will come right then the, the new responsibilities that testing as a function will say yes to we'll have to keep upskilling on those parts as well and keep wearing multiple hats so that is where people who are smart and people who are aware of these dynamics will thrive and they'll continue to thrive. So on that note, I'll conclude this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye and happy upskilling.